Welcome back to the channel. I'm Justin Reed. In this video, I met up with some awesome anglers at Pensacola Beach to do some surf fishing. Chip Brundage, the sinker guy, Jesse Walker, Slot City Fishing, and Brian Demo of Finding Demo Surf Fishing Podcast. Our plan was to go out there and catch some pompano, but when we showed up to the beach, this is what happened. Check it out. To get some fleas. Gotta scoop some sand fleas. That's the spot. There we go. Good scoop right there. Got a bunch of them. Got a bunch of bait going on in front of me. These birds are going nuts for it. Look at them birds. They're in the wash? Wow. These birds are going crazy out here. Yeah, look at that Bobo. Slot City Fishing hooked up on a Bobo. Yeah, let's get some, man. And I'm using the Real 30A Surf Pro 9. And I got a gotcha jig on there. One ounce gotcha jig. There we go. Yeah. Oh, he popped off. He popped off. He just throw into the birds and hope you don't get one. <laughs> nice. There we go. Yeah. Oh, me and Slot City Fishing hooked up about the same time. Yeah. Nice. Oh, this is so much fun, man. Oh yeah, he's got some fight. Just let him run. It's just a feeding frenzy out there. We got birds all over the place. Fish, bait. <laughs> oh. These bonita are a blast, man. Come on, Chip, get on one. Oh, I see him swirling. Yeah, your fish is right in front of me, dude. We're probably crossed up. I can't tell what's going on. Uh, walk under me. Underneath you? Oh, no. Oh, my line broke. Oh, I lost it, man. I lost mine, too. I know, man. Oh, I lost my lure. I'm done. Can I throw this? Yeah, throw it. I want you to catch one too, man. That one thing was right there. Yeah, I don't know how my braid broke. Yeah, who knows what happened with my line. I think uh, us being crossed up, the friction of the two lines with those Bonita going wild and whatnot just broke it. All right, it's redemption time. I, uh, I had a rod set up for, for Chip. It's got a jig on it too. We're gonna see if we can get one on the Ninja eight foot six now. I mean, a bird. Did you? Yeah. <laughs> oh, there they are, I see them. They're close. These bellows are awesome. There we go. Had a bite. I didn't hook up. Just gotta keep up with them. They're not far at all. They're right here. There we go. Yeah. <laughs> Redemption. Let's see if we can land them. Oh, these things are so much fun. These bobos, I love them. If you are in the Navarre, Pensacola area, you got to get out here and throw a lure for these guys. It is a blast. You can't miss them. They have been cruising the shoreline for like a month. Yeah, you go, go, go over there, dude. I'll go over here. He's probably going to keep going this way anyways. We came out here to pompano fish, and I haven't even baited a rig for a pompano yet. These Benita were here when we showed up. And that's why I always bring a lure to the beach with me. You never know what's gonna happen out there. There could be bluefish, Benita, in the summertime, ladyfish. Get it, man! Slot City's hooked up too.
They just keep fighting. Nice, dude. You landed him quick. The Slot City landed his in like, I don't know, 30 seconds. I've been fighting this thing for a couple minutes. All right, I got him close. These waves aren't helping him. There we go. I got him up by the wall. On the beach. Bobo. Awesome, man. Did you land yours? Yeah. Nice, man. Ready? Yes, sir. Ready? At this point, it started raining, so we all went and huddled up in the gazebo, hung out for a little bit, and once the rain stopped, we headed back out to the beach, set up our surf rods to catch some pompano. It's bottom fishing day. It's just a sandbar. There's nothing special about it. The beach here is all real shallow, but I picked this spot because I'm able to reach that deeper water, and a lot of the pompano reports lately have been pompano being caught in deeper water out far. So I'm gonna throw my baits out in this darker water here and I'm just gonna stagger them different distances. All right, on this rig, we put a live sand flea on here with a sand flea fish bite, get some color in the water, some scent. And then on the top, I'm gonna to put some fresh shrimp and a shrimp fish bite, pink shrimp fish bite. And I'm gonna throw this out past the breaking waves out there, if I can, get in that deeper water but right up against the bar. Nice, got it out there. And there's a lot of current out here today. So I'm definitely using some sinker guy Sputniks. It is a Sputnik kind of day. Yeah, don't, don't go home on the rough days. Get you some Sputniks. If your pyramids are moving all over the place and you throw one of these Sputniks on, I promise you they'll hold. And if they don't hold, you, it's just way too rough. Get them from the sinker guy. He makes the best Sputniks around. Sinkerguy.com. Navarre Half Hitch here locally sells them in-house. And I'm trying a new rig today. I fished with Bun recently and he was using some single droppers. But I got a naked, no float, no big, single dropper rig right here, 20 pound mono. And on this one, I'm just gonna put a sand flea and I'm just gonna put a small piece of sand flea fish bite on there, get some color, help attract that fish. I don't have a bead or anything. And I'm just gonna launch this one out there as far as I can. Get it in that deep trough out there. Pompano lately have been running pretty far out there from the reports I've got. So definitely want to throw it out. I got one right behind the bar and I'm just going to put each one a little further than that. Find out where the fish are cruising. It's a big old redfish, dude. Yeah, it's nice. Ah! <laughs> Look at this Woo! guy, man. Look how beautiful that fish is. Chip Brundage comes to the panel, shows us how to do it. Woo! Yeah, for real. You already caught it. Keep her popping in red. Yeah, popping out in the cooler, buddy. Well, he's gone. There he goes. Nice. There we go. Yeah, there we go. Something decent. Over there scooping fleas. Just flung my rake. This is that single drop naked rig. No float, no bead. I probably crossed up. I don't know, maybe. We'll see. Yeah, it's crossed. All wrapped up, of course. Yeah, I'm not worried about it. Probably break my braid though. Is it cross cross? Yeah. It's like both ways. Uh, I don't want to touch it. No, with the fish on, it's hard to deal with. Yeah. There he is over there. <laughs> Papa, no! Uh -huh. Alright, let's get this tangle out. He's a keeper. Yeah! He's gonna be close, actually. 
to get a measurement on this dude. He's, he's looking a little close to me. Oh yeah, he's 12. 12 all day, baby. Sand flea, sand flea fish bite. Dude, we got the super crew out today. Just chip. Yep. Demo. Yep. Killing it today, baby. <laughs> <laughs> How you that fish? Nice 12 inch pump. He ate a sand flea with a sand flea fish bite on that single drop naked rig. And that rig, it's just like 18 inches. And then I got my drop. Got a six inch drop here. Number one, owner Mutu light circle hook. And then like another 18 inches to my swivel. Get another sand flea on there. See if we can get on another nice pump. I've just got that small piece of easy flea fish bite. Get that color on the flea. Looks like eggs. When that current's moving like that, I'll actually, if I'm trying to cast in front of me, I'll actually cast diagonal because between the wind and the current moving, by the time that bait gets to where it wants to be, it'll straighten back out for you. Just check the radar and all this storm, we hear some thunder over there. It's coming right towards us. Well, we got ran off by the storm, so we're all hanging out here in the gazebo. Out here, sinker guy, Jesse from Slot City Fishing, and Brian Demo, finding Demo Surf Fishing. But as you can see behind me, the rain is it's pouring, so we're done for the day. Hope you all enjoyed the video. If you did, please like, subscribe, and comment. And until next time, take care and tie lines.